Hey everybody, this is Sandy Reese with StampingCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome, welcome you back to our Wednesday tutorials. Uh, we did a drawing this morning for those who shared the video last week. And it was for this pack of cards that we had made last week. And Angel Caldwell was our winner. So Angel, I'm going to be sending these out to the mail to you tomorrow. So today, the lighting looks a little crazy because I have all my lamps pointing down, but today we, I want to show you um, a technique. We don't get to do this in class very much, but it's kind of an inlaid paper piecing um, tutorial. Oh, I just saw Bridget came on. Bridget, hi, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so I'm going to flip the phone upside down here, and we will get started. Okay, flip it upside down. I'm going to be doing some die cutting, so I've got my camera up pretty high. So this is the card we're going to make. Okay, and we are using the Peaceful Moments stamp set and Poppy Moments dies. And these are in the... Um, the new mini catalog, page 27. And they're part of the Peaceful Poppy Suite, which is our number one seller so far from the mini catalog. Now I am gonna warn you, if you like this one, this is the Peaceful um, Painted Poppies bundle. The dies are um, on back order right now. You can still order it, but we're doing the companions uh, bundle to that, the Peaceful peaceful Moments bundle. It's hard to say. There's a lot of different P's in there. So this card, the whole flower, except for the black part and the leaves, are inlaid, so it's very flat. Let me see if I can show you. Those are not on top of the card. They're actually down in the white. So I'm going to show you all the... Um, Measurements and supply lists will be on my blog post, so I will get that um, posted as soon as the video is uploaded to YouTube. So we have a Calypso Coral Base, we have a little layer of Old Olive, and then we have our Whisper White cardstock. So I'm going to stamp first, because it's always best to stamp first. Because if we don't get it straight, we can flip it over and do it again. And I am using Poppy Parade ink and just wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. All right. That is all the stamping I'm going to do on this card. Okay, so to start, I'm going to start off with my leaves. And I'm going to place... I'm gonna first cut my holes. So I'm gonna place my leaves, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna cut this one first. Let's see if you can kind of see that. Hope there's not too much of a glare. We'll do, we'll do this one right here. So you can discard that white leaf or save it for something later. So I've got my one leaf and I pre-cut just a couple of old olive leaves and I'm going to pop this in here. Just lay it flat. Let me move this over so you can see. I apologize if my shaking my table. So this is the back side and I'm going to just take a little piece of washi tape and kind of hold that in place on the back side. All right, then I'm going to cut another leaf, and I'm going to overlap it just a little bit, maybe come in a hair, a hair to the left. We're going to cut out another one, run that through the big shot, trying not to shake too much. Ooh, my cutting pads are dirty. Okay, so I'm going to take that out, so you can kind of see where that leaf is cut out. Then I'm going to take my second leaf, place it in that hole, flip it over, and then hold it in place with another piece of washi tape. All 
right. And then I'm going to take my flower and cut out where my flower is going to go. So you see I'm going to cut out some of these leaves right here. Ink. We'll go about there. All right, this is the outline die. And the detail die actually fits perfectly. So this is the perfect stamp set for doing this. Okay, I'm gonna take that out and take out all of that and discard it. All right. Now we need to cut out a, I used on my sample, Poppy Parade for the outside or the border, and then the inside is Calypso Coral. So we're gonna cut out our Poppy Parade flower. So we have to cut out two flowers. All right, this is our Poppy Parade flower. Now it's still in the die, it's cut, but on the back, because I can, I can get two pretty flowers out of this same thing. I am going to just put a couple pieces of washi tape on the back of this before I take it out of the die. Make sure everything's attached to washi tape at some point. All right, I'm gonna take the die off. So now my flower, well, it's stuck to the backing with washi tape, but here's my flower. It's all held together by the washi tape. So I'm gonna do another one in Calypso Coral. We're going to flip that over before we take it out. Let's put a couple pieces of this on here to hold it all together. Take the die off. Pop it out of the die. Okay, we're done with our big shot for now. So what I want, I want to take off this outside border of the poppy one. I'm just going to gently take that off and peel it off the washi tape. Now sometimes if your washi tape's real sticky, it can tear. And hopefully the goal is to get this off while keeping that mostly intact. Okay, we're going to set that aside because we'll use that on our second flower for another project. I mean, we'll make a tag with it. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the, we'll just pop it out of the back here, it'll be easier. Okay, so now we have our coral flower, and we want the insides of the coral, but we're gonna take off our border here. that's okay, it'll still be easier. Okay, well, in all, I probably should have used a little more. A little more there, but that's okay. Because what we're gonna do now is put this back on here using our washi tape and just wiggle that so it's in place. And we've got three pieces on this one. You can add more pieces to kind of help hold it. Well, let's find out. This goes right here. So that just pops right in. And then I've got one piece left over here. All right, we'll flip this over, make sure it's all back in. And I may just add a little more washi tape just to hold it steady. Okay. And then we want to tear off this back. We don't want that showing. Okay. Ah, uh, won't come off. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with our leftover pieces from the other flower. And we'll just make another one of those later and use that on something else. We don't want to waste it. All right, so we're gonna flip this over and this is gonna pop right in 
to our die cut flower, just like that. We can even flip it over and maybe use another one piece of washi tape to hold it in place. All right, you just want to make sure it's kind of settled in. Okay, that feels good. I'm just going to put a little piece there to hold it. Then all you need to do is glue it to your old olive cardstock, which I know I, here it is. I know I had it. We're gonna just use a little bit of Tombow adhesive. I'm gonna use some on the flower itself too. And I like this, cause I can move it around a little bit when I put it down. I need to adjust and then make sure that's popped in there nice and flat all right then we're going to adhere this to the card base I just use a thin amount of glue you do not need to have a whole bunch of glue on there to hold this all right so very quick and easy cool effect because it's laid in. Now these two, I'm gonna pop it up just to give it a little bit of fun dimension. I've already cut these two pieces out of the dies. And I'm just gonna kinda, of, with my fingers and thumb, bring that up a little bit to make it kinda of bowl shaped. Then I'm gonna glue that to the center. All right, and then same thing with this piece. Bring that up, put a little glue in the middle. And then I'm just gonna stick it on top. Give that a second, whoops. Sticking to my finger. All right, and then we have our peaceful poppies um, little sequins. I used the round sequins and I used the gold. Oh my gosh, now I'm gluey fingers. I put a black one right in the center of the flower and then I'm going to add a couple more. So we'll put the gold one right here, put the poppy one down low here. And I'm putting these kind of bowl shaped, so the edges up, not down. Black one goes in the middle of my flower, and that glue's gonna dry clear, so you're not gonna see that. And then we'll put the little coral one up in the corner. And that is it, super quick and easy. Now, if you share this video, share the link, I will send do a drawing next week. I'm gonna mail off both these poppy cards to you. Um, you can always check out the instructions and measurements on my blog, stampincrew.com, in about an hour. And then I will also have this posted on YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube and you would like to um, check out my Facebook group, it's Crew Stampers Forum on Facebook. And so we have a lot of um, projects there that you can take a look at and enjoy. Um, all right. Well, thanks everybody for stopping by today and I will see you next week. All right. Bye-bye.